ไปแล้วไปแล้วไปแล้วไปแล้วไปแล้วไปแล้วไปแล้วไปแล้วไปแล้วไปแล้วไปแล้วไปแล้วไปแล้วไปแล้วไปแล้วไปแล้วไปแ
สดาสอเทปะวันโทเทไหนสุลพิจริบกับบ้านเหรอครับเลยจะไปวัดธรรมรีบกับบ้านรีบกับบ้านโอ้วันนี้ได้เช็คพอตต้องรีบกลับบ้านครับเดี๋ยวคนเยอะครับใช่ออกไม่ได้ก็ต้องไปทางงัดออกเสียเนี่ยข้างหลังอ so just a short reminder for everyone we are here in a community and we try to do our best to live peacefully together <coughs> you you probably remember in the suttas the one story yeah where the Lord Buddha visited three arahants that were in peace and harmony yeah But it is only arahants who are in peace and harmony because they don't have kilesas anymore. We, I mean, when we ordain, we think, you know, I mean, I don't know what we think and what we expect. Yeah, I mean, we come here, yeah, as a lay person with all our kiles, with all our conceit, with all our anger, with all our greed. Yeah, and then when we think we put on the ropes, you know, our greed and our hate and our conceit has gone. That is not possible. Huh? We have to work very hard, you know, to get rid of self, you know, that creates all these problems. Yeah? <clears throat> And if you remind, you know, I mean, at the time, I mean, when you read the vinaya, uh, the vinaya for the monks, yeah, I mean, the group of six. You remember this, these stories, the group of the six, who constantly, you know, I mean, constantly tormented other bhikkhus, huh? I don't know. Probably in the Medici, there is also something like this. <laughs> there are also stories like this, where some some of the Medici or some of the Bikunis, you know, I mean, tormented others. Yeah. So this is normally. Yeah. Wherever you go, in every monastery, you know, I mean, you will find people. You know, you will find the monks or the Medici. You know, constantly <clears throat> quarreling, constantly, you know, fighting. Yeah. But we try to do our best. Yeah. To to deal with it, and then we re remember one of the things that the Lord Buddha said. Yeah, I mean he said it to the monks, yeah? but it's the same same holds true probably for the Nichis. When we live in a monastery, yeah, and he said to the monks, yeah? we live like we are on Tudong, like we live, you know, by ourselves. Yeah, and when we live by ourselves, you know, being on Tudong, yeah. Then we live like in a monastery. That means, you know, that we, yeah, that we try to 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 correct all the problems that arise in our heart, yeah, in our kutis. That's why everybody, <coughs> everybody has his own kuti, his own place, yeah. And we, yeah? what does it mean, you know, to live, yeah, to live in a monastery, yeah, like we live, you know, in isolation. There is no gathering around. There is no talking around. Yeah, and if there is no talking around, there is no gathering around. There will be no fights. There will be no quarreling. Yeah. And now I remember one of the very nice story. I think I heard it in the 90s or yeah. <coughs> there was there used to be a meditation center in the, in the middle of France somewhere. Yeah. And within this meditation center, you know, I, I don't know, twenty twenty people, yeah, twenty people and the teacher, yeah, and there there was just one guy, you know, an older guy who was really nasty, and the people in the meditation center wanted to get rid of him. They tried it for years; they couldn't get rid of him. He was so stubborn, you know, he just stayed on, and the teacher didn't do anything. But finally, you know, finally, you know, the old man decided to go. Yeah? And what did the teacher do? He was running after him and offered him money to come back to the monastery, because he said, "This is, yeah, I mean, you don't listen to the teacher, you, but you can learn from this naughty, you know, for, from this stubborn guy more than we can do." Yeah? And that is what we do. Yeah. 
whenever we have a problem with another person, I mean, we look in ourselves and remove the problem that is in our heart, that creates this problem. And that's why we have our own kuti, that's why we have our own chakra path, that's why we have our own place. So we reflect upon, yeah, whatever we see in other people has to be within ourselves. Yeah? I mean, this is also my own experience. The moment you can, you get rid of the things, you know, that <clears throat> aggravates you in other people, yeah, then you're in, at peace with the other person and even have matter for this person because you know what he's going through. This is our practice, yeah? It's not our practice, you know, to quarrel, yeah? I mean, but that is natural because, yeah, the Kilis, Lungta Mahabha said it very clearly, when we ordain, yeah, it's, the Kilesas don't ordain, yeah? It would be nice if the Kilesas ordain and be completely peacefully and live in harmony. No, yeah? We have to, we have to use our practice to fight the Kilesas, yeah? And remember the story, you know, of, of in the French meditation center, yeah? I mean, the teacher was, yeah, offering this, this uh, stubborn person or, yeah, money, you know, to come back because he's a better teacher than the teacher himself, yeah? Hmm? So we can learn from everybody, yeah? And that is our, yeah, that is our aim, yeah? To learn from the difficulties that we see, yeah? and from, learn from the dislikes that we have, you know, towards other people or about other situations, hmm? <clears throat> to learn, yeah? to see it and look for us, for, in our heart, for, for the reason for it. Yeah? And once we remove it, once we remove the, <clears throat> the stains in our heart, then there's no problem. Then we can live in harmony like the Lord Buddha when he visited these three Arahants. Yeah? Not even Aryas live in harmony. Yeah? I mean, it's only Arahants who don't have Kilesas who live in harmony. Yeah? So, so remember this, yeah? Remind yourself, you know, whatever I see in others is within me. It is not to this extent that, yeah? <clears throat> but it's still there, yeah? And it, it gnaws at you, yeah? It gnaws at the heart, it makes the heart dissatisfied. Yeah? You understand? Yeah? People have these expectations when they come to the monastery that it has to be peaceful and, yeah? We are people, yeah? We come from the, we come from all walks of life, you know? I mean, people have all different backgrounds, yeah? And they come here, you know, with the aim of correcting themselves. And that's what they should use to, yeah? <clears throat> that's where this place is for, to correct themselves. Not to become and be perfect, huh? There is no perfect place, yeah? Huh? What, what did the Lord Buddha say to Anand, yeah? When they called him camel hats and whatever, yeah? All sorts of names, yeah? And then what did the Venerable Ananda say? Oh, Lord Buddha, let's go to another city, huh? Or in our case, let's go to another monastery where they don't call us camel hats or where they do things better, hmm? And then the Lord Buddha, you know, replied to Ananda, I mean, where do you go? You know, if they call you these names, you know, in the next city, in the next city, you know, you cannot escape yourself. Because wherever you go, you take your problems with you, yeah? And this, is, this is here is a place where you can work on these problems, you know, get rid of the problem, and then you're in harmony, yeah? Even if the other people are not in harmony. Okay, understood? Yeah? <clears throat>